of the images that are popping up, um, several of them I do recognize. Okay, well, it looks like we've got a request, so we're going to fulfill Zero's intrigue, and we're going to do this macros. So, first of all, credit to the builder, who is Kazu, with 324 models. Damn! Wow, this person has made buildings and everything. So, fair play, this guy is a power modeler. Like, serious power modeler. He's like the mushroom fleet of modeling. Look at this. Oh, wow, look at that mech. Okay, that's getting a little bit of uh, attention. What else has he done? Crazy gears everywhere. That could be a really cool interior to something. A lot of houses. Oh, hello. The VF25F Messiah in both fighter and girlwalk mode. Very, very macross. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Right, well, this is a bit of a gold mine. Um, oh, wow, he's got a fishing boat. Right, okay, basically, let's just take a look at some of these. Look at this. That's juicy. I'm downloading it. So, thank you, Kazu. We'll give you full credit and link to this page. Uh, oh, wow. Wow, what's that? I need to translate. Stat. I do apologize for inaccuracies of Google Translate in advance. Hey, was good Macross? It, if and if, if, hang on. All right, Tom, what side is uh, this? Macross F. Ma Macross F. There's like a room with loads of gears and stuff. It's pretty epic. Downloading it anyway. Uh, let's see, and then there's the fighter, so we'll take that, and then there's the mech mode, so we'll take that, and then here's the actual macros, so I'll let it linger on that page. Ah, oh, now I recognize the gears, that's from one of the macros Frontier movies. Ah, so what I'll obviously do then, guys, is I'm actually going to set up this screen with, um with SketchUp, so we can see that part of the process. So, in we go. He says. Bum -ba -da -bum. Where's, where is it? It's hiding behind the window. Here we go, so come on. Get the whole program, there we go. There we go. Chuck that down there, make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Right. You can't actually see anything. Hmm. Let's try that again, shall we? Screen region here. Nope. Still can't see anything. Okay, so... Let's see. Does it... Nope. You can't see anything. Oh, well. That's a shame. So, unfortunately, you don't get to see the part where we actually change it, but... Effectively, what you're doing is you're pressing Control A, which selects the entire model. Zoom out a little bit, change it to the. Oh my God! It's the whole thing's built on 45 degrees. Wow! Yeah, this is going to take a little bit of clean up. Hold up. So if, to clean this up, we figure out which is forwards. I believe forwards is actually that way on this. So I'm going to have to rotate it. So oh, this is going to be fun. Capture the monitor. No, it won't let you. Okay, so let's just see what the stream can the stream. Right, that's what I've ended up with. Okay. Now I'm going to save that as Macross tweaked. Okay, and then export it. But I'm now going to take a screen of what it looked like before. And if you note that the green axis is pointing up. And it's all aligned and they all cross in the center. All the lines cross in the center. Okay. So that's, I want my core to be where the lines are crossing. So you've got to like move it along and stuff. But it was actually all at 45 degrees. And what nightmare. So here we go. Boom. As you can see, that's what it looked like before. So like, you know, that doesn't work. Because the whole thing's at 45 degrees. The, the core would have been down in space somewhere, way below the ship. So basically, you gotta you gotta pick two points 
on the ship, usually on the top face, there and there or something, and then rotate and snap to the green axis. If I go back to it, what, how it was finished, so I've, I've turned it all the way around and then lowered it down. And that's, that's what we've ended up with on that one. So anyway, if we now jump back over to smell it, where's smell it? The person who did this took the two different versions of this ship that exist, one from the film and one from the TV series, and he spliced them. Here, here we go, we're back. So then, we're gonna kick the chief off the screen now, and we're gonna import that OBJ. I wonder where where I saved it. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. See, I got so many of these things. Ah, there we go, Macross. Open it up. Uh, we're gonna go with 301 again because I can triple it if it needs to be big. There we go. Oh, we're gonna cancel well, one, out that. One thing's 1200 meters. I don't think you want to go that big. Well, 1,200 uh, on 3 is 4, isn't it? That's an even number, so it would be even sim, but then it doesn't matter because it's asymmetrical, so yeah, could totally do that. Um, just going to take a look at it, and as you can see, core position is exactly where I wanted it to be. Oh, no, it's not. No, <laughs> it's not, actually. It is slightly higher and further forward, but hey, it looks it's right. Inside the ship. It's in the ship at least, yeah. So it isn't exactly, it should have been further down. Right. This is the old Smedit, but nothing's broken. <laughs> it just depends what you're trying to do with it. So, um, so anyway, like I say, the trick was really gone through at the beginning. Oh, hang on, look, it has. It's actually moved the core to what is considered to be the middle of the OBJ. Which is fine. And if I didn't know better... It looks like it's... Oh no, it's just an optical illusion. <laughs> uh, I love it when they trip you out because it's all the same colour. What colour should this be? White? Yeah. Yeah, majority white. White and hollow. So obviously I'll save the small one as Macross, was it plus 301, I can't remember what it said now, I'm bad, I forget, and then scale it three times, I'll make it 901, oh, I'm supposed to scale it four times, oh well, it's big enough, right, save as. It's only an exercise. For a project, you'd do this again. 901 plus. There we go. Bang. Done. And that's pretty much it. So, do, 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 do. What else have we got? I think we should go and take a look at some of these beautiful models.